Hello and welcome to another episode of Atomic Martian Tour Reviews. It's a new year and we got a new episode coming right at you in your face. First up, we got Walking Dead Daryl with sweet roadkill redneck dinner action on his back pant pocket. And also, Battleground Evil Inn. Kind of arousing. Stay tuned. Two blue Valtrexes no. a day. The medication doesn't work. Doesn't always take it away. No, it's not going to no. do it. Oh, hey, and welcome to another episode of Atomic Martian Tour Reviews. I'm Matt. I'm Jason. And this is Daryl. He's a fucking redneck. He is a fucking redneck. Now, this is uh, Daryl Dixon from the Walking Dead uh, television program. Uh, this character was not is not in the comic books as of yet, um, but he is a new character that they created for the show. And he's actually become a, a pretty big fan favorite. Um, yeah. In fact, I think most people consider Daryl their favorite character on the show. He's like, um, yeah. yeah. I don't know. He's a cool redneck. So. Yeah. Let's talk about the packaging a little bit here. So it's a nice blister card, kind of classic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how much was this figure in stores? It's 15 Fifteen dollars for fifteen dollars. I'd like something a little bit nicer than a toy that looks like it's from the nineties, but whatever. Well, it is Tom made by Tommy Farland, son of a bitch. But, um, <laughs> so everything they make is from the. It looks like it's from the nineties, but, yeah. but it has the AMC yeah. Walking Dead logo here. So is it AMC on there. Yeah, it says AMC, yeah, the Walking AMC. Dead. Um, on so now. they made sure that they um, acknowledge that this is definitely from the television uh, television show. I guess a complaint I have about the packaging here is the fact that you know we got warning and then. Another language and another language that says the same thing. All over the packaging here, it's all international. It's an international package for people to read. And I just don't believe that Daryl, as a, as a good-hearted redneck, could get behind that. If it's not American, it don't need to be spoke, brother. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. Yeah, well, that's what I, I think. Don't know. I don't I try not to get involved in redneck politics. Well, you can't help it in this area. Yeah. This day true. and age, it's all over the place. It is. it is, yeah. But we're not here to talk about that. We're talking about a fucking toy. Yep. So let's, uh... So I say we get it open and check it out. Yeah, let's check them out. Let's check out the redneck. Good. All right. Who we'll right All right. We are back. And this is Daryl out of the package. The only thing this figure is missing is a skull ring on the back of his pocket. And a GED. Yep. That's true. So here we have him. Now, um... He looks awesome shooting that crossbow. Yeah. But everything else, he looks like shit. He is a fucking lemon. Yeah. Basically, the pose that you can get him in that looks the best is this one right here, where he's pointing the crossbow. Looking at you, man. I'm yeah. watching you. Um, get off he, the property, he actually man. Does, he does this pose very well. He actually um, the figure is actually kind of designed um, where his joints and his elbows bend and his wrist bends and stuff like that is actually designed and set up so that he can hold this crossbow and has, have his head slightly tilted to the right. Yep. But. If you take the crossbow out, take it out. And you put his arms down. He is jacked up yeah. and really, really, really dumb looking. You know what that is? That's him in zombie camo. He's just trying to act like a zombie. This is the part of the show they don't tell you about where Daryl goes crazy and becomes a quizzling and tries to act like a zombie. Well, they already, did, they already did an episode like that, though. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. It makes me um, to myself, you know, hey. All right, obviously he's made for just one pose and one pose only. Like, you're not going to do any other pose that's going to make him look as good as that. So why the fuck not just make it like a statue or something like that? Like, what's yeah, the like point McFarlane of adding... Yeah, like McFarlane normally does with most of their stuff. Yeah, exactly. What's the point of adding all this extra articulation if he looks retarded when he when you try to implement it? Um, like, there's weird separation with his, with his baggy pants that creates, like, these jagged, sharp corners in his pants. Um, yeah. his arms are extremely short. His like, shoulders like, are all off. He's like, he's like yeah. freaking like the hunchback of Notre Dame walking around. I know. Uh, he's really hunched over. His head keeps on tilting and, and moving in weird directions and stuff. But yeah, his arms, like, God, they're like extremely short. Like, like they don't even go past his waist. It's like his arms are like this. Yeah. But straight down. Around the arms. Um, Go up to here side of the table, man. He's extremely mutated. You know, I bet in the show that's something they kind of fo not focus on. The fact that he's just so inbred with white <laughs> trash DNA that, you know, his arms really aren't regular. I don't know. 
That's why he's always carrying shit around. Yeah. And uh, but let's talk about the accessories for a minute. Okay, yeah, the, was, the only redeeming factor of this figure. It's badass that is fucking a badass crossbow looking. here. It's that Holy crossbow shit. looks like awesome. It's good. It, it looks has like uh, extra, shoot off right your extra. face, right in your eye. <laughs> for that, well, you're used to having stuff shot in your eye, aren't you? Where the glasses? Yeah, uh, but it comes with uh, the one um, arrow already lodged into the the trigger area and it has uh, two extra arrows on the bottom there and a little arrow holster and it has a um, strap a strap so you can strap it to his back you can strap it but up. there's no reason to strap it to his back because he there's only one pose you ever want to put this figure in <laughs> yeah the non-shitty um, one yeah the non-shitty pose uh here's his he comes with the axe for lumberjacking or beheading of zombies Probably. and a pig axe also for gold prospecting, prospecting. Yeah. that's right yeah because he's a well-accomplished prospector you know, there's gold. There's gold up in them. There's gold in them zombies. I want to find that gold. And uh, let's not forget the most important one here. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't mean that. Yeah, don't, you do. Don't hold it against me. So, <laughs> the, last, the most important piece is he comes with squirrels here. Dead he squirrels. It's important to know that he didn't kill these himself. Like any good white trash trailer park denizen, he found these on the side of the road. Hey, How man. though? There's not enough people driving around to, to oh, run them over. Oh shit, no, man! You brother, you look hard enough, you gonna find a dead squirrel on the road, man. Dead squirrel on the road, like apples on a tree, man. You pick them up and eat them. They're just as good. Sure, sure, you gotta, you know, deal with the taste of rubber or you know, crushed bones or the fact you gotta fight them birds off. Birds trying to take my squirrel, but hell, man, that's good. Dead squirrel on, on a road, that's good eating, man. Can you stop talking like that? You can't help it. So, dead squirrel on a rope that he found yeah. on the side of the road. Um, another thing to talk about um, that's not completely unrelated to the actual figure that we're trying to review is his scale. Um, <laughs> what about his uneasy eyes? Oh, well, yeah. Those are his weird eyes ones. are stuck a little around like, hey, man. See that funny looking fellow behind me? I don't like it. What, what the say? hell's wrong with you? Well, that was you got too many Bud What the hell's tonight. wrong with him? Exactly. We don't need two like mongoloid retards on the, <laughs> in this review. Oh, you can't help it. You got one out. Jesus <laughs> toys, squirrel. Anyway, um, the scale is another another uh, big issue of mine. Um, he's all these figures are weird, like five inch scale. Yeah. which which is very strange. It, uh, you can't. They're too tall for like G.I. Joe's or Marvel Universe, so you can't really integrate those figures into that universe. And they're too short for Marvel Legends, DC, UC, um, standard six-inch figures. Really, the only way that you can do, really display these is with other figures in their line, or else they just look really short or really yeah. tall. Um, so I think that's kind of disappointing. I'm like, why is McFarlane making something that's completely different scale than the standard? Well, let me, let me hip you to a little bit of knowledge. Five inch scale was the fucking shit back in nineteen fucking ninety, and that is the era that Todd McFarlane lives in, and that's where all his fucking toys come from. Yeah. Now, sure, shit comes in eight inch scale, which is common back in the nineties too. Fucking the first Power Rangers toys were all like giant eight inch figures. Yeah. So that makes those sense. Are awesome. And then everything else is fucking five inches. Todd McFarlane, get the fuck out of the nineties, dude. Um. And another thing, too, is posability. They gave this character a lot of posability. Uh, 95% of it is unnecessary. Um, <laughs> basically, it? all they have to do is make one solid mold of him in this, with his arms up like this and this crossbow in his hands, and that's it. You had a good Daryl statue yep. right there. But for some dumb reason, they decided to add all this extra articulation that looks ridiculous. Where's the box It doesn't at? flow. Do they, and I'm looks, pretty sure they advertise on the box has like two points of fucking articulation. I don't know where the box is. So. It's probably already in the trash. The one with this figure? Oh! Oh, look, this figure doesn't look anything like the one on the box. Yeah, that one looks... Uh... Actually, like the, the actor. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that it one... actually has detail on it um oh, that's another thing too is this figure has really very like, very little detail yeah it's just like uh you know like the most basic freaking gray yeah. paint and blue jeans and a little bit of shading on the bottom of the feet and look he doesn't appreciate... have all, he doesn't have all that shitty leg articulation like the figure has no that was good that was the statue it should have been yeah also i'm pretty sure that toy is a oh no never mind that's not a tattoo that's just yeah anyways what the hell man it does not look like Daryl. no so um 
when I first heard about these figures and uh, the fact that Daryl was actually going to be one of the first figures released, I got really excited. I was like, hey, this is a new character. Um, it's kind of rare for them to release uh, a brand new character into the first wave. You know, usually they, they reserve it. I, I figured there'd be like a Dale or, or Shane or something, you know, that would have been, or Lori would have been in the first wave. But they decided to make a, uh, a fan favorite like Daryl. Um, so I was very excited about it. But then I got the figure. Shit that doesn't fit in his hands either. And I'm not excited at all about this. And the paint defects and the, the jacked up face that he has is not just a specific one because they had about three of them in the store. So I had to kind of pick the, I had to pick up the litter, <laughs> yeah. if, if you will. Pick up the and, um, hard litter here? Yeah, they all look pretty bad. So. Ah, God damn, he can't yeah, even nothing even, shit. He can't even stab himself in the neck properly. Kitty. Do this one right here. Please kill me. <laughs> I, I can't shoot myself in the head. My arms are too short. <laughs> oh, wow, God, wow. Wow, God, why'd you give me these stuff? First, you arms? take away NASCAR, man. And you made me kill Little E. You made me kill his zombie. That's like a sin, man. And now you won't let me kill myself with my redneck crossbow. It's Am like I? the end of the fly. You just need Gina Davis. Yeah. To pull the trigger. I can't so. even. Can't even masturbate, man. I can't even tuck myself, brother. He can't. He can't reach it. And he's got a rag. He can't reach it. He's got a That's... fucking spoo drag in the back of his pocket. What the hell? That's horrible. It's fucked up. So, so, anyway, this this is basically a colossal piece of shit. Yeah. So, you know, if you're looking for, you know, yeah, fuck it. It's a piece of shit. If you're looking for something good and worth the money, buy a G.I. Joe figure that's got articulation and detail, or, you know. Or even a DCUC figure. You can buy an NECA figure that's got lots of posability, lots and of detail. lots of detail. But please, for the love of God, send send McFarlane Toys a message that says, um, your shit's old and dated, and it doesn't fucking matter. And it's overpriced. $15 for this hunk of crap. And it looks like crap, yeah. God, I'll go, give me 15 minutes, and I'll go make a toy out of shit that's better than this. And give it to Jason. Right. You got 15 minutes. Do it. I'll do it right now. Fuck it. All right. Well, while he Lord does that, let's review another review. Oh, yeah, here it comes. No. All right, to offset that last really shitty review, we got this. Battleground Evil Inn from Masters of the Universe. Booyah. This, uh, this figure came from MattyCollector.com. Where else? Jason here had to get up extra early in the morning and uh, order that shit, you know. Mm -hmm. Had to hop online and, and go to MattyCollector.com. Mm -hmm. Give Matty a, there. A, a virtual hand job Say, in order to get it. Let me skip the queue nice a little bit. Nice tug and pull in order to uh, acquire this figure. And then... Yep. Yeah. Five to seven business days later, later, this little baby popped Remember up in his mailbox. Ones? Are these normally on there? For some reason, I never noticed these tabs. So you can. You know, that's a great question. Hang them, I've hang never them noticed the store. I mean, they are. I don't know. I've seen these at hanging in stores. I've never noticed. I don't know. Anyway, it has this tab or it has a hook that you can. Maybe it's for comic shops. Yeah, that's what. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Um, this is the. Uh, he-Man 2000X version of Evil Lynn. It's inspired by the, uh, oh. the the new the newer cartoon, the cartoon that came out of the early 2000s. The new old cartoon now. Yeah, the, the newer 10-year-old ten cartoon, yeah. Um, so she doesn't have the, the yellow skin and the blue attire. She has more of a uh, um, grayish white skin and a um, more purple, purple attire, so, which and I think white, is pretty awesome. And so. apparently white hair. Which is hot. It's very much like Ivy from uh, from um, Soul Calibur. So. Very much so. So, I don't know. Um, you got standard Master Universe Classics packaging, unless this is new. I don't know if it is or not. We're not but. sure. <laughs> and um, it could be. You got the nice little bubble here, the little circle. You can so stick your pinky finger almost in Almost touch it, but you can't quite. Ooh, almost there. Um, air holes on the side, like normal. We want our fingers to breathe. Uh -huh. Adult collector right there on the front, just because... Uh, kids can't afford these. That's absolutely right. They can't afford to spend the the crazy money that these cost. So, and apparently you can tell she's a bad guy because she has a staff. That's right. When she's holding it. Yep. She holds that staff real good. So. Like a dick. No like, innuendos, fellas. No innuendos. That's right. No innuendos. She holds it real nice. Like a dick. Mm -hmm. Supposed to come right out and say it now. Anyway, well, like a dick. Let's open this up. 
and see what's inside. Damn it! Just some top boob. We almost got her top off. We managed to get the, the part around her collar off. And we were really hoping to see some boobs, but sadly, no. Some Maddie, you're really making it difficult to spend $22 a piece on these things. To, to see some gray boobies. Yeah. I mean, really, what's the point of them being an adult collector if we can't see some ta-tas every I mean, the while. Japanese learned that a while ago. You don't even have to put a nipple on there. You can just make it, you know, like Barbie dolls. I think I'd like a nipple. Damn it. So this review has not started out well. Let's see if the figure is actually redeemable. Put a put a head on her. Yeah, let's stick a head on her so she doesn't look all, like, crazy. Mutant, mutated, yeah. Mannequin-like. Wow. Oh. Oh. In my head. In her cape. So yes, I would say even though she doesn't reveal any any cleavage or, or tits or anything, it's still a pretty cool looking figure. Yep. In my book, she uh, looks like she could take on Tila. Uh huh. She's definitely a badass bitch. Yeah. She comes so, with... Jay, why don't we talk about some accessories? That Let's she comes talk. With? She mm -hmm. comes with this badass staff. I guess it's badass. I mean, she's evil. It's in her name. I think it's badass. So it comes with this cool staff with which two has heads. Two heads. If you can get them off. Yeah, that pops right off. I'll let him do it since it's his figure. Pop. Pop. Bang. Now this one's probably just a defective, defective one, but this is. Oh, because it's a little to the it's side. It's a little tilted. Yeah, you might have to heat it up. And you know, get some it people, some people, you know, think they're special like that. Yeah, sometimes it just tilts to the side, <clears throat> a little bit to yeah, the left. But... You know. So um, it comes with that little guy. It comes with the dagger or the the prison shank. Prison shank, but there's no place on there's no place on her body to put the dagger. That's because she uh, that's because she hides it in her special place in her nature's pocket. Nature's pocket. So right up. Be in. careful. Make sure. Uh, she, she removes it before any coitus or anything. She pulls it out and she's like, here's your nego renegotiation on the price, Skeletor. <laughs> now give me my oh, 50... Where was that? Now give me my 50 attorney in dollars and I'll blow you. No. She never blow his bony ass. We really hope Evil she... Evil is, is too good for that. Um, she also comes with two heads. She comes with more of a, a classic helmet, helmeted head, and then of course the super hot, um, short haircut, like Ellen DeGeneres white hair. Is she gonna go find Portia de Rossi and make sweet scissor? I really hope so. I hope so. Is so Tila her Portia? <laughs> yeah, Tila. Mm. Tila, get over here. Give me some slash, slash porn with <laughs> Tila and Evelyn. It's awesome. So yeah, I think she looks pretty badass even with his head, the second head on too. And in uh, fact, I like both heads. I always like that head. It's kind of like yeah. the Empress of Darkness sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And one thing I like about this figure compared to the original or traditional is that it's a little bit more realistic looking. Um, not only with her her body color, but also her armor. Um, it has more shading to it. And it's just more realistic colors. It's not uh, obnoxious blue and yellow exactly. combination. And you know, it kind of makes sense, because every time I see the cartoon over there on Snake Mountain, it's pretty dark. Yeah. So if there's not a lot of sun, she would be very pale. Yeah. Yeah, she would. It's just kind of undead, kind of, sort of. I'm sure yeah. all the ash is what turned her hair gray white. Either that or a lot of peroxide. Or Skeletor's dick. No. The side of that just went white. <laughs> His boner. Yep. <laughs> That was bad. <laughs> but I'm <boom. laughs> well, a good all around figure. And you take off the cape, and because it's hard. how do you fight with your cape on? Well, I mean you do, but it's it's hard. all cosmetic. You know? Yeah, you take gotta take off. that thing off before the fight starts. Yeah. Well, well, you know, I'm not gonna take it off now, but you, you take can. it off and well, you can take it off. And pop around. Just gotta find Come the right on, man. Do don't it. be gentle. They don't like it when you're she likes it rough. totally gentle. She likes it or man, man manhandle them a little bit. Oh, that you can get her nice. She still looks badass even without the cape on. It yeah. doesn't really take away a lot. Though with her. the cape off, the headgear looks kind of stupid. Uh, I don't know. I think it looks awesome no matter what. Really? Yeah. Different strokes. Yep. And with this figure, there's gonna be a lot of strokes. <laughs> In all seriousness, I I like this figure a lot. Um, obviously. There's nothing revolutionary as far as the mold goes. Um, articulation is pretty standard. Yep. 
Um, in fact, I think she shares a lot of the same parts as the original um, Eva Lynn yep. figure. Um, so it's kind of a remake, almost. And a lot of people will complain about that. But Whatever. We like it. I like it when they make remakes and they actually make them different than the original. Instead of just remaking me, them. I love it when they give me stuff to spend my money on. Exactly. Also, and, I, um, I gotta say, I staple think... Staple characters is a good way to spend money. Totally. So. I gotta say, I always think uh, the the Four Horsemen found a very good way to do female figures. They do, yeah. you know. They put in a lot of articulation without mm-hmm. um, without gunking up the form, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, you make a, a yeah. that's a good looking woman. Yeah, it it is. Um, they give her, you know, nice feminine features, but they also give her like badass looking features too. Like she has some big, big thick thighs on here, but they're not like gigantic. You know, it's not like she doesn't look overweight. But she looks like she's pretty tough. Yeah. You know? So there you go, Battleground Evil Land. Um, she has been sold out. So sucks. Hoping didn't get it. Yeah. Hope and pray that um, Maddie puts her on sale again. Because otherwise, you're paying out the not. nose on eBay. Probably not, because most Master Universe figures don't go for much more than uh, retail price on eBay. So. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, it's so, not good. You might eBay. have to pay thirty five dollars <clears throat> for. Her. There you go. So, but I think she's worth that. So. Totally. There you go. All right, Evil perfect. Land. Evil Lynn. All right, this has been the first episode of 2012 Atomic Martian Toy Reviews. We did Daryl and Evil Lynn, and they were both pretty funny-ish, kind of. Anyway, um, make sure to check us out on AtomicMartian.com. That way you can check out all of our past reviews, uh, and all the news that we post, and a little bit of this, and a little bit of that, and get all your toy news there. Also, be sure to check out our sponsors, Big Bad Toy Store, tshortbordello.com, Radar Toys, and Tenacious Toys. Other than that, peace out.